So one of the reasons that people like VS Code so much is that it's a bare bones IDE, but it's highly customizable. So um, the, the extensions here, um, although like when you just download VS Code, it's, it's not very helpful because you don't have, uh, it hasn't been extended yet. But when it comes to like programming with languages like Python or C++, you can download all of these different um, extensions. So I'm going to go through and add in a few here so we can get um, get you up and running. So the first one that you should add in is uh, you should enable Code Runner. Um, this is definitely one uh, that it will allow you to run a uh, code of files in the Active Text Editor. Um, and give you snippets and some extra functionality so you'll be uh, you can kind of scroll down through and and, um, and read about what you can do with the uh, the the code runner but basically allows you to run code uh, interactively using your terminal um, this one here django this this one actually comes as part of a pack so if i scroll down here um, there's this thing called a python extension pack um, so you're going to want to install several um, recommended ones. So there's Python, which is for uh, linting and debugging and, and uh, IntelliSense. Um, IntelliSense is really important because this allows us to, when we type in things, um, it fills in with auto completion. Um, linting is important because this shows us if there's any issues. Um, so what I'll do is I will enable Python. And what you'll want to do is you'll just go down here and install the Python um, and the Python extension pack. Uh, so the Python extension pack is like a meta pack and it includes Magic Python, uh, Python, Jinja, Django, and Visual Studio IntelliCode. Um, so you'll want to uh, enable those. Um, I'm also going to enable PyLance and this one's really important. This is the latest language server for Python. Um, this one's really important because it allows us to, to be able to do like, um, see how you have GC period and then the method here. Um, it allows us to be able to, uh, to, to, to auto complete some of that stuff. Okay. So those, that is the Python pack. Once you, um, load that in, it's going to give you Django. It's going to give you, uh, Jinja, uh, also the Jupyter, I believe it gives you. Um, and if you if it doesn't give you that, definitely inst uh, install the Jupyter Notebook extension. That is something that's going to be really important um, for us connecting up with VS Code with Jupyter and allowing a lot of the, the cool stuff uh, to be able to leverage Jupyter Notebooks um, inside of our uh, VS Code IDE. Okay, um, and then the last one is the VS Stu Studio IntelliCode. Uh, it installed that, so you can see here. Uh, what it's allowing us to do is kind of autocomplete um, intelligently. Okay, so that is it for the Python installations. Next, we'll go through some of the other installations that we'll need.